Hey guys, it's Jolene. I have a review for you guys today on the Makeup Geek Foiled Shadows. I realize that they've been out for a while and I've had them since she put them out. And I've had a really good chance to sit down and really play with most of the colors and know their lasting power and their pigmentation. And I thought that I would go ahead and give you guys a review on what I thought of them. So let's get started. So I um, put my shadows in an old Coastal Sands palette. I've had this palette for ages and I never I never used it and it kept, ended up working out great because all of them fit in there plus two um, from her original line so let's get started and I'll show you guys what they look like okay so this is the palette and I have all of the names written down here so the first row we have magic act and then grandstand in the spotlight and flamethrower Second row is Mesmerized, Showtime, Caitlin Rose, and then Cosmopolitan from her her original line. Third row is Jester, Houdini, Center Stage, and Mermaid from the original line. Okay, so the first row, we have Magic Act, which is just a, a gold. You have Grandstand, which is like a champagne taupe. You have In the Spotlight, which is a really pretty peach color. And then you have Flamethrower, which is a really gorgeous bronze copper color. Okay. So we have, again, we've got um, Magic Act, which is just a really, really pretty gold. You've got Grandstand, which is a really pretty, um, it's really like a champagne taupe. It depends on the light. You know, some instances it's kind of like a, a taupe, and then there's other instances where it's just like a really pretty champagne. Um, in the Spotlight is probably my favorite, and it's like a really pretty peach. And then you've got Flamethrower, and it is just a really, really gorgeous, bold copper uh, copper bronze. Okay, second row we have Mesmerized, which is like a, it's more of a purpley taupe. Um, you've got Showtime, which is a really pretty burgundy, almost kind of a burgundy brown. You've got Caitlin Rhodes, which is a really pretty bright purple. And then you've got Cosmopolitan, which is from the original line. This is Mesmerized, Showtime, Caitlin Rose, and then Cosmopolitan from the original line. In the fourth row, which is probably my favorite, and I haven't even had a chance to really play with these yet, which is kind of sad, but they're like my favorite. of Out of all of the colors, this is my favorite row. So you've got Jester, which is a really pretty, like, bright, almost like a lime green with, like, um, yellow reflex in it. You have Houdini, which is a dark teal. You've got uh, Center Stage, which is just a really pretty royal blue. And then you've got Mermaid from the original line. So we have Jester, Houdini, Center Stage, and then Mermaid from the original line. First impression of these things, guys, they are gorgeous. They are gorgeous shadows. I I can't even pick a favorite because they're all my favorites. They're all so pigmented and so beautiful and foiled and just, she, she did an outstanding job on them. I, I seriously, I don't have any bad things to say about them. The lasting power is really pretty good. I have only had a couple problems with probably two of the shadows, and I think that was my fault. I had been using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and I had run out of it, so I started using, what was it? Oh, uh, NYX's Jumbo Eyeshadow in Milk, and which is a really nice primer for most shadows, and I don't think it would have been bad for these, but I think I got a little heavy-handed with it, which is a common problem I think a lot of people have with the jumbo eyeshadow pencils they're so thick and creamy that it can it's easy to kind of get a get too much of it on your eye and then it kind of makes the eyeshadows crease so I think that was my fault um, once I got in a new uh, painterly paint pot and I started using it again I didn't have that kind of problem I've used a good five out of the ten um, on a on a regular basis and I've had really good luck out of them um, the other five, I have ideas for them. I just haven't had a chance to actually use them. I think she did a really, really outstanding job on these. She, 
I think for the price they are well worth it. Um, if you are struggling to figure out what collar to get, I don't think you are not going to be disappointed in any collar that you decide on. So if you want to pick out your favorite collar and buy it, you are not going to be disappointed, I guarantee it. Um, I will say that I, if, if I could recommend any collar, I would recommend buying the Caitlin Rose shade. Um, all proceeds um, and purchases on this shadow go to um, people with Batten's disease, which I think is really cool that she's done that. Um, so I would definitely say to get that one first and foremost. Um, but other than that, I, I can't tell you which color to choose. I would say splurge and buy the whole set. I do know that she's getting ready to come out within, I think, the next month with a few more shades that are more more spring-like shades. They're brighter, they're um, more like almost pastel um, kind of colors except for they're foiled. So I'm super excited for those to come out. I'll probably end up um, getting all of those. But yeah, guys, I, I have nothing bad to say about these shadows. I think you, I think it'll be well worth adding them to your makeup collection. I think they are well worth the money. Um, I, I, I applaud the woman. She's done an outstanding job on her line of, on everything. Her, all of her original shadows that she's got out, they're all super pigmented. I have had no problems with them. Her brushes are awesome. I've got almost all of them and I love each and every single one of them. Um, I have one, I have five of her blushes and I love each of those. Um, if you, if you are questionable on buying anything from Makeup Geek, don't question it. Buy whatever you, I say go ahead and buy whatever you think you might like because I have not been disappointed in anything that she has put out. So yeah guys, that is my review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Have you got any of her shadows? Which ones are your favorites? And if you don't have any of them, what ones are you thinking of purchasing? And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Um, you can buy each individual pan for...